Mark. That's fine. Hello and welcome back to the Outdoor Minimalist YouTube channel. My name is Meg Carney and I'm the author and host of Outdoor Minimalist. Today I will be reviewing the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo two-person tent, as you can see right behind me. If you haven't heard of Nemo equipment before, um, they are a prominent ba band. They are a prominent brand in the outdoor industry and they primarily focus on making sleep systems. So things like tents, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, pillows, etc. They've kind of broadened their scope into other types of equipment as well, but I'll say that their main focus and expertise falls within the sleep system arena. The Nemo Dragonfly tent is not a brand new tent, but the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo is a new version of their previous models of the Nemo Dragonfly. And the big difference between their old Dragonflies and this new one is the Osmo fabric. And the Osmo fabric is a new proprietary blend of synthetic materials that Nemo engineered um, in order to one, create a lighter weight tent and two, a higher performing tent. The reason that it is higher performing, even though it is a proprietary blend of synthetic materials, is because it no longer um, has that classic stretch once it gets wet, where you get that a lot with like polyester, nylon, etc., but you don't necessarily get that with Dyneema fabrics. So they were able to create a tent that essentially it can get wet, it doesn't require a waterproof coating that will wear off over time, and the fabric itself, once it is wet, it's not going to stretch and change that much over time. For a two-person tent, this tent is quite roomy. Um, some of the pros of this tent are, one, it's really fast and easy to set up, even if you're setting it up alone. Um, after I set this tent up, I would say it probably takes under five minutes for one person, which would make it much faster if you have two people traveling with you. The interior, although the footbed of the tent does slightly narrow, you can still comfortably fit to average adults inside and their sleeping pads. Because the tent has two large vestibules, then you don't need to worry too much about keeping your equipment inside the tent and you can keep it outside of the tent. And with the two vestibules, you also have two large doors. The no mesh on the doors and surrounding the outside of the tent under the rain fly um, keep out pretty much all bugs that you could imagine, hence why it is no mesh. On top of the Osmo fabric. I do want to mention that the rain fly and the tent floor are also blue sign approved, which if you are looking for sustainable brands, specifically brands that produce any equipment that uses textiles, I recommend looking for blue sign certified equipment. Although the entire tent does not utilize fabric that is blue sign approved, the majority of the tent does, which I think is admirable. The tent itself, when you're using the two-person tent, only weighs two pounds and 10 ounces, and that is including the tent poles and stakes, which I think is quite lightweight. And the big uh, question around ultralight tents and other products in the outdoor industry would be if they are equally as durable. In my experience using Nemo equipment, which I will say they are kind of like the primary brand that I gravitate towards for most of my camping and sleeping outdoor equipment, I have found that all of their things are highly durable and because of the durability you don't need to worry too much about um, like rips and tears on the trail but they're inevitable because you're using them outside so things happen you could get a snag but the pro about Nemo equipment across the board is that they offer a lifetime warranty with proof of purchase. And within that warranty, they also offer a repair policy and you can get replacement pieces of gear to repair it yourself. So if a zipper breaks or a buckle breaks, you can ask them to send you a new piece that will match your original tent and you can replace it yourself. A big part of Nemo's brand and sustainability message is that they want their equipment to be highly functional outdoors, they want it to be highly durable, and they also want it to be highly repairable so the overall longevity will last quite a long time. Let's see, what else? I think that's most of the pros of this tent. When it comes to the setup, which I can explain a little bit in more detail once this rain fly is off, it'll be easier to see. 
But part of the reason why the setup is so easy is because the color coding on the clips and the poles. So this one uses yellow and gray. And so that way, if you're setting up in the dark or you're really tired, all you have to do is match up the colors with the buckles and the clips and you're set up in under five minutes. Okay, so one part of this tent that I think is really convenient and it also improves the speed at which you can set it up is the color coding of the clips. So I'll have to undo the rain fly a little bit here to show you. But this side of the tent, it has yellow clips and yellow poles. And you can see where it transitions to gray. So here, the clips, they have the yellow fabric, and that is the one that attaches to the yellow pole. The gray one has the gray fabric, and that attaches to the gray pole. The same thing with the corners of the tent. Um, this corner on the footbed side, which is the tapered foot area, um, has the yellow buckles and straps. And on the other side, they're gray. So now let's talk about the things that I didn't like so much about this tent. The number one thing is the price point. Nemo Equipment is a relatively expensive brand and it will not be a popular budget pick for most campers. They do offer sales relatively frequently. I know they generally have like a previous season sale. So if you want a similar model to this, they may be offering a discounted price for last year's model. I think that a lot of other options that most campers would be accustomed to would be one, buying used, and two, trying to find like the REI good and used and other retailers that may sell this equipment and you can get it at a discounted price. That way you're saving a little bit of money and you're preventing the old equipment from heading to the landfill. Along with the price, the tent does not come stock with the footprint. And I will say, when using all of the Nemo tents, it is nice to have the exact footprint for that tent model to ensure that it fastens to the tent properly. You could just use a standard tarp and put it underneath, but because this is an ultralight tent, a tarp would be a little bit too heavy. So I would opt for purchasing their specific footprint in this instance, but it obviously isn't necessary. I think because of the ultralight materials, having a tarp or footprint underneath the tent should occur um, simply because it would increase the overall durability and longevity of the tent while you're using it and likely improve the waterproofing of the materials if it were to rain or you were to set up on snow. But this is only a three season tent, so I don't know why you'd set up on snow. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's see if I missed anything. When it comes to the interior space of the Nemo Dragonfly Osmo, I am a 5'7 individual. My primary camping partner is also 5'7 and more petite than me. So we fit quite comfortably inside um, with room to move around and even like play cards in the tent if we want to. We find it easy to change our clothes or take off layers or add layers inside the tent and even administer like things like foot first aid when you're moving your body around in awkward positions. Um, and mostly that's because we can kind of move to opposite ends of the tent and take care of those things or um, lay side by side because when I am changing things like my socks, underwear, pants, etc., I tend to be laying down when I do that. I don't know if that is normal when you're doing that in a tent, but that's what has worked for me. I think that there's plenty of headspace with someone of my height um, and I have a relatively long, long torso in comparison to my legs. So I think like my sitting up <laughs> height is like somewhat higher sometimes. The other thing is that even with the tapered floor, I found that it's still quite roomy for your sleep system. I believe that this tent, I'll double check um, and we'll put the exact specs on the screen, but I believe it will fit a 22 inch and a 20 inch sleeping pad side by side. Um, quite comfortably without touching the sides of the tent, which could compromise the overall waterproofing and water resistance. The other thing regarding durability, I do think that this material, even though it is quite lightweight, is relatively durable if it's well, well cared for and used properly. Um, the zippers on this tent are quite lightweight and could potentially be the first piece of the tent to fail. When it comes to um, 
parts of the tent and parts of outdoor equipment in general, the first thing that generally fails is the zipper. And that is partially due to lack of care, so lack of maintenance, and also the overall use is quite heavy in comparison to other aspects of the tent because you're going in and out of the tent, unzipping it over and over and over again. And so a couple of things that you can do to increase the longevity of the zipper is make sure that your tent is clean, especially once you pack it away for the season. And if you are in an area with a lot of rain, wind, and dirt blowing around that could gunk up the zippers on your tent, make sure that you're able to clean those out before you continue to use them. Essentially, if you notice that your zipper is starting to snag or move slowly, that is the time that you want to clean it up. I also think the colors are cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one. I got, I have another thing that I want to say about this tent is one thing that um, people have asked me a lot about tents when I have reviewed them is how easy is it to put away? Because we talk a lot about setup and things like that, but is it easy to put back in the bag that comes stock with the tent? And I'll say 100%, this is an easy tent to roll up with the stakes and the poles and the rain fly and everything and fit it back into the bag. And it's still quite small and easy to put in your pack. So the sustainability score for Nemo as a brand is also gonna be one of the higher ones on my channel. And although I want to give them like a nine or a 10, I'm probably gonna knock them down to about an eight, um, primarily because they use a lot of synthetic materials and that is inevitable in the type of products that they are making but simply because they are utilizing synthetic materials they're continually updating their lines etc i would put them at eight however because they are a tent brand and a sleep system brand that really, really focuses on sustainability, you can see it woven into all of their product designs. They're very intentional. They have an excellent warranty, one of the best out there. And they also have excellent customer service. So if you do need a repair or you have a question about the product, you can easily reach out to them and ask them. And if you have more questions about the Osmo fabric, I'll make sure I link their full description on their webpage in the description below as well as their sustainability page. That was a lot of information. I keep, when, I, when we're doing the subscribe thing, I keep thinking I'm on the podcast because once it pops into my head, I'm like, if you like what you hear, let me know. <laughs> Leave a review <laughs> and be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. <laughs>